In the state of Yucatán, Mexico, a mixture of local heritage and Hispanic influence defines the culture. From its colonial architecture, traditional rituals, and the beauty of its rural areas, this is one of Central America's most important tourist destinations. Unfortunately, Yucatán also has one of the highest rates of dengue and Chagas disease in Mexico. Innovative research, however, is identifying both the sources of infection and new ways to control the transmission of these diseases. Researchers at the Autonomous University of Yucatán are working with the World Health Organization through TDR, the Special Program for Research and Training in Tropical Diseases, to investigate the community and environmental solution to this threat. Dr. Eric Dumontail and his team have worked with communities in Teya and Sutsal to identify the underlying sources of Chagas disease infection. Chagas disease is mainly caused by contact with the waste of an infected triatomine bug, or PIC, as it is commonly known in Yucatán. The insect comes through windows during the hottest months of the year. El triatoma de inmediata, que, que es la especie que tenemos en la región, se comporta muy diferentemente de triatoma infestans en, en Sudamérica, porque realmente no vive tanto dentro de las casas. Es un insecto más bien silvestre, que está muy abundante en el monte, llega volando, atraído por la luz, atraído por los animales domésticos, en busca de, de fuentes de alimentos. Entonces, la necesidad de adaptar la, las intervenciones de control a ese comportamiento específico en esa región. Community leader Alma Escalante has been involved in the project since its inception, helping organize meetings and connecting researchers with the townspeople. El problema es que no estábamos informados. No sabíamos que que el bicho, que el pic nos podría causar una enfermedad Siempre se había comentado de la plática del Chagas, pero realmente no sabíamos cuán valiosa era la, el Chagas saber, el conocer realmente todo lo que podía ocasionarnos. Y sí nos ayuda, ayudó mucho porque, pues, falta de conocimiento, pues, no, no le tomábamos mucha importancia. Chagas is often undiagnosed because there are few visible symptoms allowing the parasite to damage the heart and cause digestive and neurological problems. An educational campaign for children was initiated to spread awareness of the disease. The researchers gave lessons at local primary schools and hosted a competition for students to display drawings depicting what they learned. The researchers also tested different ways to prevent the bugs from entering homes. Community members designed protective screens, which once installed, would allow the windows to be open while keeping the vector out. Using local materials and carpenters, community leaders coordinated the construction and installation of these screens in more than 800 homes. The residents started seeing results immediately. Y estamos muy contentas, muy felices en lo personal. Estoy muy agradecida con con la fundación que nos ha apoyado porque pues realmente es de es de mucha bendición para las familias porque pues realmente es caro. Es caro y hay familias que no pueden no pueden pagar. Trae muchos beneficios en que previene la entrada de todos los insectos, moscas, cucarachas, alacranes, todo eso. Uh, va a ir reduciendo la presencia de todos esos insectos que molesta a la gente. Los mosquitos que transmiten en esa área el dengue, que es otro problema de salud importante. Entonces, de manera general, es una manera de mejorar la vivienda y de proporcionar una vivienda más saludable para todas las familias. To better control the Aedes aegypti mosquito that carries not only the dengue parasite, but also chikungunya and zika. Another research project investigated the impact of screens that incorporated insecticide in their design. You most of the times have 80 or 90 percent of the houses with dengue vectors inside the houses. So the idea was to have a physical barrier by having the window and the, the screens on doors and windows but also to have this innovation of using uh, this material which has insecticide inside 
So then you have like a physical barrier, <clears throat> but also a chemical barrier. And that has some really good results, reducing in 70% the risk of having mosquitoes in your houses. Another study looked at how to reduce mosquito breeding, focusing on small water containers like buckets. Since the community was not used to recycling or disposing of these containers, a major cleanup campaign was initiated. Recicla por tu bienestar has already produced significant results. In Yucatan, 60% of the water containers that were breeding locations for mosquitoes have been eliminated. Authorities all over Mexico are now planning to expand these approaches to as many communities as possible to protect those who are most vulnerable, particularly pregnant women and their families. We have shown that we reduce the number of mosquitoes in your houses, but also with these uh, broader scale interventions, uh, we're very sure that we can show a reduction on the decrease of the disease transmission which is the, 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 the goal, the standard goal point at, at this moment.